Who needs therapy when you can shame orcs, am I right? <laughs> In this video series, I'm shaming a hundred orcs down until they go crazy. But the fun doesn't stop there, my friends. Once these orcs are completely off their rocker, I'm throwing them into a massive pit fight tournament. This first video showcases the orcs that were left behind in the desert region. All of these orcs have been assigned a member of chat during one of my live streams. But the twist is that if their orc dies while I'm trying to shame them down until they're crazy, they lose that orc. No replacements, no compromises, they've just straight up lost their orc. And a lot of orcs die. <laughs> The first orc I went after was this lovely orc called Rug the Noble, who belongs to a chat member called Average Orc. He didn't take long to weaken down, he was pretty weak, but look how cool he looks. I mean, he's a red orc, looks like the abandoned with a cool hat. Anyway, I shamed his ass regardless. Down to level 41, not crazy yet though, sadly. I should mention that originally the pit fight tournament was going to be me shaming every single orc down to level 1 and then making them fight, but I realized that was going to take me literally a lifetime. I used my shadow strike on him and that was enough to instantly kill him. Obviously I didn't go for the execution because I want him to live. He looks so cool. I just want him to go crazy, you know, I'm kind of doing like an opposite Mr. Beast thing today. Luckily he spawns right beside me, but sadly I hit him with my sword once and it goes into the kill animation. This guy is very squishy right now. Kill me all you like. And you do like it, don't you? But disaster! Muscle memory kicks in and I hit the B button by accident. I was absolutely freaking out at this point. I rushed over to my Xbox and turned it off. I couldn't believe that. I was so annoyed. I really don't want this orc to die. I'm not going to be doing this for any other orc. It's just this one-off time. I couldn't believe I actually killed him. As soon as the game boots up, I'm back hitting him with arrows. This time being a lot more careful. I zoom in there. He's ready for his next shaming. But he is just refusing to go crazy. He really just doesn't want to go crazy for me. I call the old trusty reliable Mount Betty and we're off to find him again. I make the coolest entrance you can by killing the Drake. I'm sorry, Mr. Drake. I'm sorry, Betty. But I was worried he would kill the Noble. I shame the Noble all the way down to level one. He loses his title. He's just called Rug now. He's really not very happy about it. You shamed me again. It's all gotten worse. That means the other Uruks call me. You can't imagine. Why won't you just kill me instead? Oh, die. He becomes Rug the Bitter. I'm actually surprised it took him this long. You know, he's all the way down to level one and then he becomes bitter. I thought he'd be bitter the entire time. Anyway, I almost accidentally kill him again. He is just so squishy at this point. Luckily though he spawns beside me again. Hello Rug the Bitter. Surprised he actually has a title. I thought when they're level 1 they lose it. Anyway, I fire an arrow at him and it goes straight into his heart. What a shot from me. He's dead. I'm crying at my desk here. It's absolutely horrifying. I love the way he looked. Anyway, on to the next orc. The next orc I set my evil sights on is Lorm the Alchemist. Ooh, I love an alchemist. I actually weaken him down before he even has a chance to say anything. That's very rare. The alchemists are very talkative. They've always got lots to say about their alchemy. I shame him down for his first round and look at this. He becomes a maniac. He goes absolutely crazy. Off his nut. Off his rocker. This is what lovely Lorm the alchemist sounds like now. He sounds just like my favourite Olog, the Maniac. As you can see, he's very, very, very squishy at this point, so all it takes is one little hit and he's ready to be shamed down again. I'll be honest guys, at this point in the recording, I was still set on shaming all of the orcs down to level 1. So Lorm actually gets the full shaming process, the full treatment, the full treatment plan down to level 1. I travel across the desert region to find my beloved level 1 Lorm. 
And look at this right here, guys. I absolutely finesse. Weakening this level one. Look at this. Not killing him at all. Just finessing it with the bow. Um, I probably could have killed him by accident there very easily. But anyway, Lorm has been recruited. There you go, Mr. Blackbuck. Your orc is safe and sound. Congruity lions. When I was stalking around the desert region, I could feel a really unsettling, powerful presence. And of course, it was one of the Bagabug variants. He's infected. He's infected my tournament of shame. He just doesn't want to see innocent orcs get shamed. But you know, I'm not gonna let him stop me. Got a little pet there, have you? Schoon the Blade Master, the next orc that I'm after. He belongs to Tartan, a lovely member of our community. He was pretty easy to beat. I shame him down. But his brain was resilient. For now. At the same time as finding Schoon, I also find Gund Blackheart. Gund belongs to the member of my community called Stovenator, and I shamed his ass straight into the dirt. I then found his ass eating some chicken, and I shamed him again. I then tracked Schoon down again, and he really was not happy. What did you do to me? Shamed me? Made me a mockery? The others all make fun of me? I've got to kill you so they'll stop! I have to kill you! I shamed him down to level 12 and then the incident happened. I tracked the level Schoon down again but he wasn't alone. He was surrounded by other orcs and Crackhorn the chain driver. And then it happened. The chain master let out an almighty shout and the shockwaves killed the level 12 blade master. His pathetic body crattled to the floor. I'm sorry Tartan. Your orc is dead. Well, back to Mr. Stove's goon that I'm shooting him right now. He's weak enough. I'm going to get in there and shame his little face right off. His little painted purple face. I'm shaming him now. He's currently level 13. He's going to go down. Oh, and he goes crazy. It's beautiful. He becomes a maniac. That's what we like to see, chat. Realizing now I just called you chat even though I'm recording audio for a YouTube video. And you're not actually called chat in this. Anyway. Goon's gone full crazy and he's perfect, perfect to go in the pits. I've recruited him and he's going into the pits. He survived. Welcome to the tournament, Mr. Goon. Next up, we have a very cool orc here called the Blood Licker Ishmaz. This orc belongs to a Twitch chatter called Black Knight. I lay some arrows into him and he is ready to be shamed. Tracked him down again, and just look how cool he looks. Just look at him. A lot of trouble to get me out here. I know you want me dead, and the feeling's mutual. I start laying arrow after arrow into him. You know, being very careful, being the careful self that I normally am. Look at that. He's almost ready to be shamed again. And oh my God! Accidental headshot. Honored my death threat. He's so cool. I'm so sorry. He's dead. No, look at him. No. Anyway, on to the next orc, and we have the pure blood here. He also looks pretty cool. Usually I don't like the pure blood masks, but it looks cool on him. You know, he's a big red Olog. Pure blood. Got the mask. Got the scrolls. I think he looks cool. That would hurt me. Could it be you are even more stupid than I thought? I beat him in a straight one-on-one, -on -one. I shame his ass down. Look at this. And he's a perfect little good boy and he goes crazy immediately. A maniac. I track him down again and this is what he sounds like. I shame him down and then I recruit him because he's just a perfect big boy. Look at that, he's going straight into the pits. What park, your Olog is alive and well. The next orc I was hunting down is past the bleeder who belongs to Mega. Pity no one will get to witness my advanced pain techniques when I practice them on you. It was a pretty easy fight. Weakened him down, made him go crazy with one shaming. 
Very, very easy orc. Love that. Hopefully they can all be like this. If they were all like this, this video wouldn't be broken up into multiple parts. Whoa, bonus time, bonus time, guys. I found Mr. Snowflake here. That Karagor wiped me out. My goodness, how embarrassing. I found Snowflake here. He'd been following me for ages. He kept ambushing me. You know, he was involved in recruiting and creating loads of the original orcs, and I was honestly sick of him. You. You're a man filthy right away like a little coward. You grow a spawn yet? I was so sick of him. He kept ambushing me. Not happy with this lad. I'm killing him. He's been alive too long. Kill me if you must. But you can't beat us. Buruks are taken over, see? We're the new kings. He served his purpose in creating lots of lovely orcs for us and goodbye. You can rest now. Beautiful, unique Mr. Snowflake. The next orc I was after was Dugs the Wicked, who belongs to Shadow Fox. But he actually changed his name to the Gutless during his first shaming, which happened on stream. After that, all I had to do was recruit him and he was ready to go get him into the pits. He does look like a badass. Look at that helmet. Look at that red paint. Very, very cool. The next orc to join our pit of shame is Crackhorn the Brute, who belongs to X6. I'll be honest, I beat this dude in seconds and I shamed his ass down. You know, he kind of looks like like a sort of London banker that just does non-stop cocaine, you know? Anyway, I shamed him down again. And that was enough. Only two shamings to crack this weak, weak mind of the brute. I then recruited them for the pits. Next we have one of my favourite orcs here, Koth the Coward. He belongs to I Am Shadow. He's speechless. Not because you're back from the dead. Because he can't believe he gets to kill you again. <laughs> and he's got an announcer orc. I love any orc that uses an announcer. It's so good. Getting a little runt to announce you. Ah, amazing. Anyway, Cough the Coward gets shamed down pretty easily. But look, he's back again. Just look at that run! What a dude! Cough becomes the bitter. He doesn't like being shamed. You know, he doesn't really fancy it. He doesn't like me. He's not my biggest fan. So he's getting shamed down again. And I decide that I quite like the look of his red Ologs here. So I'm gonna let one of them unalive me. Come on, lads, hit me. There we go. Big hit there. My health's down. This guy's coming in. Oh, he misses! He could have been famous. He could have been beautiful. Which one's going to take it? Oh, I dodged him for some reason. I don't know why I did that. It must have been a reflex. Oh, this guy gets it. Here we go. Old white hair. Got the piercings. Will he be killed, chat? I was not made to follow. I was made to lead. And he becomes Ur Hakon, the Unforgiving. So I had such a good time there, I'm like, let's repeat that process. I shame the bitter down, he doesn't go crazy. I let one of his Ologs kill me, and he gets promoted. And he becomes Ur Lasu the Grim. Very cool looking red Olog there. What are you doing back? I killed you. What happened to the good old days when the dead stay dead? Yeah, the dead should stay dead. You're gonna regret coming back. He's been shamed a few times at this point. I do the old poison elven blast. He's enraged and sadly he dies. He gets destroyed by the poison. He was enraged. Oh no, there was nothing I could do. That's one of the coolest orcs we've recruited. Gone. I'm sorry, I am Shadow. Cough the coward is gone. I then went after Skak the Tongue, who belongs to Cactus Jerry. I fought him, weakened him down, gave him the old Bish bash boof, hand on the face, shamed him down, he went crazy. Then I came across Shag Beastslayer from one of the streams, he was already crazy. All I had to do was recruit him, 
and he's good to go, this orc belongs to Plaka. Then I went after Luga the Obsessed, a very obsessed red savage orc here, level 62. I shamed him down a few times, he was being quite resilient. I was actually about to hunt him down again, I left my Xbox for a few minutes and he got mauled by a Karagor. Very embarrassing, very embarrassing way to die. Next up we have Earl Calamar, the Suspicious. One of my favourite looking Ologs, just look at him. If that's the best you have, this will be quick indeed. This suspicious old log belongs to Mammoth. This big lad only took two shamings before he went crazy. His crazy voice really doesn't match his look. I peppered him with arrows and he was ready to join the pits. Right after I tamed that beast, I let a random orc that was part of his garrison kill me. Little did I know he'd become one of the most powerful Baga variants. Baga the Clever. Ooh, so clever. 